I'm Donla Miller, and this is the Book Whisperer, Back to the Books. In this week's episode, I'd like to talk with you about using picture books with older readers. There's so much pressure on second and third graders to move out of picture books, and people often see that moving out of picture books is a milestone we want children to cross in their early elementary years. But I think some picture books are written for adults to read with children. And as an upper elementary and middle school teacher, I know that I've used picture books many times times in my language arts and social studies classrooms to build background knowledge for historical events or scientific content, to spark writing or student discussion, or just to enjoy great storytelling. I have several picture books that I like to share with you this week that are accessible to a wide range of readers. Why Am I Me by Paige Britt Sean Qualls and Selena Alco is a stunning picture book that explores identity and what it might be like to walk in the shoes of another person. We follow two children, a boy and a girl, who are traveling home one day, and as they walk through their neighborhoods, they begin to question what makes them who they are and what makes other people different and the same. Every two-page spread of illustrations would spark inquiry and conversations with students, and there's lots of opportunities for students to write and talk about their own identities. Pink is for Blobfish by Jess Keating with illustrations by David DeGrand is a fun fact-filled book about pink animals in nature. We think about pink as being a glittery princessy color, but there are a lot of strange animals in nature that are also pink, like the pink toed tarantula the naked mole rat, and of course, our cover animal, the blobfish. Kids will love reading about strange, weird animals. It'll spark further inquiry and research, and also some grand conversations about our perceptions of what colors mean. Malala's Magic Pencil by Malala Yousafzai, illustrated by Kara Scott, retells a story from Malala's childhood where she dreamed that she had a magic pencil that she could use to draw prosperity and safety for her family and her loved ones. Many of us know Malala's story because we've seen her on the news or we've heard her give speeches. She speaks powerfully about the importance of educating all children, especially girls, and also the need that we have to stand up to those who would oppress us. This book provides background information about Bilala's story and will entice students to know more about her and read perhaps her memoir, I Am Malala, her speeches, or also look at recordings of her online. Blue Sky, White Stars by Sarvinder Neighborhouse, illustrated by Kadir Nelson, is a gorgeous book that explores American history, iconography like flags and eagles, and also a contemporary look at our diverse American family. Each two-page spread shares contrasting illustrations, so you'll see waves, SEA waves, the ocean waves along our shores, SEE waves, the beautiful waves on an American flag. You could cover up the text and just open up the illustrations and ask students to write about what they see and what they feel and then reveal the poetry for another look. I think this is a gorgeous book a lot of teachers would like to share and that families would like to own. Picture books are just formats for storytelling and they don't dictate or define the age or ability of a reader. Sharing picture books with children throughout the school years provides rich opportunities to build background knowledge, vocabulary, concept development, and story schema. I hope you've heard about some great picture books this week. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you for joining me for Book Whisper Back to the Books. Thank you.